Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to become a high quality woman. This isn't a typical high quality woman video. This is going very in depth into the mindset and personality of a high quality woman. If you're more into like the appearance and how to look and how to dress, this isn't the video for you. This is authentic high quality women. Now at one point I didn't feel very high quality. I didn't feel very attractive. I didn't feel very smart. I didn't feel valuable and I didn't feel like I had a lot to offer. It took a few years to figure out how to really develop my character and turn myself into the most high quality woman I could possibly become. As I'm sure you know, as you go throughout your life, you never stop growing, you never stop wanting to improve. And so I'm still trying to improve who I am and become more and more and more high quality. But I wanna just share with you guys what really helped me along my journey and some ideas that I discovered and hopefully it can shave you a few years off your journey for becoming a high quality woman. So the first thing that I learned in order to become a high quality woman is that it's really about your mindset. It's very mental. Yes, you can look the part, have the right clothes, you know, dress the right way, have your nails done and all of this, but if you don't have your mind to back it up, it, it's just gonna be a hollow victory. It's not gonna be authentic and people are gonna be able to sniff it out really, really, really fast. So you need to have the corresponding mindset to match your appearance obviously so some of the traits that I discovered that I needed in order to become a high quality woman is that I needed to have a positive mindset nobody likes being around negative people but if you're always complaining and you always see the glass as half empty that's the kind of mindset you have it's gonna put you in a very disempowering position it's probably gonna lead you to the wrong life choices and I just find that if you have that mindset in general, people who have this mindset are not high quality and they don't live lives of success and happiness. So if you find that you have a lot of negative thoughts going on in your mind, try to change that and just be aware of it. Next is um, a go-getter attitude. A lot of people lack this quality. It's the attitude where you are ready to bring it no matter what situation you are in. You don't have a oh, save it for later attitude, or oh, I'm just gonna do it another day attitude. You don't wanna work hard and you don't wanna try. You have to have that go-getter, just ready to take on whatever is in front of you attitude. That's very, very attractive. It is a huge sign of a high quality woman. The next trait is being self-reliant. Being self-reliant and independent means that you are strong. You are a strong woman and you can sustain yourself and you are basically your own hero. You don't play the victim card. That is a huge sign that you are a high quality woman. High quality women are usually ambitious and they have a strong sense of independence. They don't want to be in a toxic codependent relationship. They want to be their own person and of course experience love but in a very non-toxic, non obsessive attached type of way. If you're independent, you're strong and it is a huge sign that you're also emotionally mature. Next is things that high quality women lack. They usually don't gossip, I noticed. They don't focus their energy on meaningless subjects that don't benefit them in the end, don't benefit anybody else around them. And again, gossip is usually negative, so they avoid negative, meaningless subjects when they converse. They will usually ask other people questions about their lives and get them going and they are usually listening. So that's a huge sign. If you see a woman who is constantly trash talking, gossiping, bad mouthing people, criticizing, judging, she's not a high quality woman. So if you find that you have, because I have done this, I am definitely guilty of this. I think everybody's guilty of gossiping. So don't feel bad about it. It's again, normal and natural. Most people gossip, but if you do it excessively and you're just like literally like 70% of your conversation is gossip, you really need to change that and start focusing your mind and thoughts on other more beneficial things, more productive things that are actually gonna make a difference in your life. So next is dreams and goals, dreams and goals. All high quality women and high quality people have a dream and a purpose. And I wanna tell you why this is really, really important. Okay, I'm gonna read a really, really important, one of my favorite quotes, and it's from the book called As a Man Thinketh. 
it's a really this is one of the best books you could ever read it's a very short read you could probably read it in an evening but if you really want to work on your intelligence your mindset i highly highly recommend this book i'll link it below in the description for you every single page of this book is pure gold but i want to read you a quote for why it's really important to have dreams and goals those who have no central purpose in their lives fall an easy prey to petty worries, fears, troubles, and self-pityings, all of which are indications of weakness, which lead just as surely as deliberately planned sins, and then he puts in brackets, through by a different route, to failure, unhappiness, and loss, for weakness cannot persist in a power-evolving universe. So basically, what this quote is saying is that if you don't have a central purpose, you are much more likely to fall prey to things that are going to cause you to be unhappy, to failures, to unhappiness, loss, and overall, it's going to lead to you becoming a weak person. If you don't have anything that you are working and striving towards, you're not getting better because it's not necessarily about what you want. It's not the house, it's not the car, it's not the financial freedom. It's who you become to attain these things. And then it be, makes you a much stronger person. And that is actually the real purpose of having a central purpose. So realize how important it is to have a central purpose, to have a dream and to have a goal and to deliberately be acting towards it every single day because that is gonna put you in a growth growth mindset, a growth way of living. You are either growing or you are disintegrating. Okay. And you always want to be growing. That is why it's so important to have dreams and goals and all high quality people have something that they are striving towards. Next, let's talk about appearance because appearance is important, but appearance is a reflection of what is going on mentally in here. So it's really important as a high quality person to put a lot of value on your health. You could have all the money in the world, you could have, you know, your family, you could have children, everything else, but if you don't have your health, you can't enjoy it. And you're not gonna be there for the people you love and your body is not gonna be able to allow you to make an impact on other people's lives, to carry you throughout your life. So it's really important that you take care of your physical, body so all high quality people put health as a top priority in their lives they eat properly they exercise they get adequate rest you know they have their their routines and their self-care routines next is sense of integrity <laughs> you could um again have all of these qualities but at the end of the day if you are not a good person and you don't act with dignity and integrity you don't have a sense of fairness and you legitimately don't care about others then you're not a high quality person you don't want to befriend or date or marry somebody who has no sense of integrity because they're gonna lie to you, they're gonna cheat on you, they're gonna betray you. So if you wanna be a high quality person, then you have to act with integrity, which I'm sure you guys know, but I really wanted to mention it. Now, how do you go about developing these traits? Developing these traits is an everyday occurrence. The power is in the everyday. So you gotta figure out what habits you want to start building and cultivating in order to transform yourself into a high quality woman. So you need to sit down and figure out what areas are you lacking in. If you feel like you're lacking in appearance, if you feel like you could look more attractive, maybe lose weight, improve your appearance in some other way. I have so many videos about that. Check out my videos. I have a weight loss law of attraction video. I have a how I became beautiful with the law of attraction. If you want to dramatically change your appearance, check those videos out. Now I want to talk about what separates high quality women from low quality women, okay? I'm gonna talk about a moment that you are going to definitely encounter, expect to face this moment and to face this challenge and test in your life. So let's say that on your journey to become a high quality woman, you decide that you would like to get in shape. So you write your weight loss goals or your um, body goals, okay? And you have these goals and you decide that you were gonna take action you get a membership for the gym and you decide that you're going to work out three days a week in order to achieve your dream body on your way to becoming a high quality woman, okay? And the first two weeks is great. You're motivated. You go to all your workouts. You feel great. Then the third week rolls in and something bad happens at work. 
you know, maybe your boss yells at you or maybe your coworker called in sick and you had to cover for them and work an extra four hours, but you had planned to originally go to the gym that day. You get off work and you really are not in the mood to go to the gym. And all these excuses come up in your head. Well, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I had to do this and that today. I had a bad day. I'm gonna take it easy today. You will start hearing this person talking in your head, trying to convince you to not go to the gym. This is the moment that is gonna separate high quality women from low quality women. The high quality women will push through these obstacles, push through these challenges and go to the gym and follow through with the commitment that she made to herself. The low quality woman will listen to the excuses and not go to the gym. And then it'll happen again and again. And then before she knows it, she stops going to the gym. That is literally the moment, the defining moment that separates the sheep from the lions. Motivation is temporary. Feeling motivated and amped up and pumped is a very, very unstable, temporary feeling. What is gonna carry you through to becoming a high quality woman, achieving all your goals is discipline. It's doing what you don't wanna do forcing yourself to do it, even though you're not in the mood, even though you're not motivated, even though you're having a really bad day, if you can make yourself follow through with the commitments you made, follow through and just do the work and just do it, that is exactly what is gonna make you a high quality woman. It's those moments. Apply this same strategy to every area of your life that you feel like you need to improve. Sit down and come up with a plan that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis to improve whatever you feel like you need to improve. And then stick to it and follow through. No matter what you choose, and I do suggest just choosing one thing first so that you can have all your energy and focus on one thing at a time. Don't try and do it all at once. You're gonna spread your energy too thin. I don't think you're gonna make as much progress as opposed to if you tackle one thing at a time. But realize, that whatever you choose and whatever you choose to tackle, so if it is being in shape or if it is maybe changing your diet or maybe you wanna become more intelligent so you make a commitment to read more books, whatever, realize that when you build the discipline and the daily habits that you are building willpower. Willpower is like a muscle. You make it stronger and stronger. And the more and more consistent you are and the faster you are at turning a commitment into just a habit, the stronger your willpower is going to be and then it's gonna be that much easier for you to take on a new goal or a new area of life that you wanna improve and then see success in that area. Realize that you're building your willpower. It's very, very important. And that is what is gonna actually drive you to the things that you want in life. If you wanna know more about traits of high quality women, check out my video called High Quality Woman Traits. Um, I will link it below in the description for you guys. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, please subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.